welcome to my Hobonichi Techo Cousin Planner. I'm going to be working on the daily pages for the 3rd through the 11th of May. The first thing I'm going to do is um, go back and do a little decorating on my weekly spread. And I have this flower sticker book that um, I have from, uh, I believe it's Recollections. And I'm just going to use some of these flower stickers to kind of fill in some of the empty places on the page just um, I like to look at the page when it's kind of full now I'm flipping to my daily pages and picking up where I left off with um, the third which is a Monday and I am cutting out uh, just the letter M for the day of the week just kind of for something different and um, picking up where I left off. I stuck this little Today sticker up in the corner and I'm just kind of making a little list of the things I did that day and that'll just kind of help me as I go ahead and uh, do my journaling on the page. Just kind of going through my stickers and seeing what I want to put in this page. Sometimes when it gets um, far enough back, even if I know what I did that day, it just, you know, I kind of lose my momentum in journaling. So I'm just kind of picking some stickers and things to fill in. These little cute coffee stickers are by um, Block Party Stamp Carvey on the Etsy. And it comes in a whole little set of cute, they're actually made from hand carved stamps. And then I have this um, sticker from Redbubble that I've been saving for a while and I decided mainly because of the colors that this would be a page that I'd like to put it on. I roast my own coffee and so I had roasted coffee um, this morning and I put the label of the um, green coffee beans that I get on there so I'm just adding some coffee stickers. I also put a little laptop sticker on there because Monday's always a catch up on computer work day. Um, this little house that just shows that I'm um, working at home that day. And then of course my journaling. Now moving on to the next page, which I've already decorated with um, some of my my May the Fourth Be With You uh, little collage elements that my Patreons got. I'm adding one of my date dots, um, and I also have the Tuesday that was on my Patreon sheets as well. So I mostly um, have the decorations done on this page. So main thing I need to do is catch up on my journaling. I did get the last bit of my Patreon mailings out um, on this day, and so I decided to uh, glue in the envelopes there. I also posted a video to Patreon of getting the sticker and collage packs ready for them. So um, I think I got these images out of a magazine, if I remember correctly. I made some really good soup. Um, on this day for supper, so I'm drawing a picture of that and journaling a little bit about that. On the 5th, I had a doctor's appointment, and I took the opportunity to use this big um, sticker from Block Party Stamp Carvey, and, um, but then I'm struggling a little bit about how I want to fill in the rest of the page, and I kind of wanted to pick something that I could um, do a little bit of private journaling about it. So I got this image. It's from Love's Lynn's Life. It's one of the older images, I think, from her. And so I use it as a tip in that I can journal behind.
I'm adding this little clip to the top of it um, that's from Illustrated Faith and I really like how that looked. Then I'm gluing it to some heavier uh, paper that was in some packaging um, so that it will make a little more sturdy tip in it. It was on really thin paper and I just wanted something a little sturdier. I'm using some new washi tape that I got from Jet Pens and you'll see me using it on several pages. I just, I really like the black and white. I'd done some video editing on this day, so I stuck this little film strip that was cut from a magazine on here, and then just filled in the little bit of space that's left with some journaling. I struggled a little bit deciding what layout I want on the 6th. I didn't have anything on there already so um, I think I kind of had the blank page problem where there's just too many options so I uh, did work in the studio that day so I pulled out some of my uh, little art supply um, collage sheet images that my pa patrons got and I'm adding those in. This big, huge number six is by Love Lynn's Life, and, and I love those giant numbers. I'm also putting a journaling block that was one of my Patreon sheets. And now that I have something on there, it's a little easier to go ahead with the page. Here's that black and white polka dot um, tape again. That on the seventh is actually the day that I got that order. From jet pen so I put some of my pen um, images on there and it was a day um, of getting ready for an art show that we set up for that evening I added some polka dots on there with some watercolor to blend in with the polka dot washi tape I'm also adding some watercolor on the 6th as well and I just really love how that just makes a page look more finished um, just with that alone and so I'm just kind of blending it in to match that journaling block. Now I'm just writing about my day. It was pretty busy getting ready for art show, just all the little last minute things that have to be done for that, getting the gallery tags ready and all of that. And um, then we went to set up in the evening and hurried to get done so that we could watch our daughter's capstone project for her masters um, on Zoom. On the 6th, I'd spent most of the day in the studio trying to get some new pieces finished up in time for the art show, so I was pretty busy with that, so I kind of um, drew some little, little small arts to represent that, and then just wrote a little bit about uh, working on, on those pieces.
I'm adding just a little watercolor to that number and you know that's one thing with the printables you don't have to leave them just exactly as they are if you need to touch them up a little bit to match your page better or you know to suit you I also did some black outlining on this number as well Now it's the day of the art fair and I've already put some images in there like of my booth and I used my little artist uh, woman cut out that my patrons got on there and I used the little card um, it was like advertising the art fair as a tip in and wrote my information underneath it like uh, a commission that I got with some you know personal information and also like how much I make at the show you know what my total income was number of pieces sold things like that and I like to record all of that on there but it's you know kind of private information so I used the tip in to record all that I have a picture here of some of the music that we had as well and then um, my husband and I after we got the booth torn apart and everything uh, went out to eat and um, had a blueberry a blueberry cheesecake shake so I kind of uh, made my own version of that here on the 9th was Mother's Day so I painted that in I had long ago stuck this picture in of me with um, my kids it was an old picture um, that just needed somewhere to, to go so I had put it in my book so here that's already on there uh, my husband got me a new recliner for Mother's Day so we went shopping for that and so I drew a little picture of the one I picked out on here The next day was Monday and it had some difficulties so I was kind of struggling to find an image that kind of reflected um, the mood of the day I guess and I kind of settled on this uh, by Tracy Moore and I thought it kind of um, fit my general feelings that day. I had some computer trouble and, and some things like that which I end up uh, illustrating on here. That big number 10 was cut out of a magazine. Um, I'm just kind of having fun finding, uh, using found numbers, I guess. This is my little drawing of my uh, sick computer. I'm using one of my Patreon sheets to cut out the Monday and Tuesday days of the week to put on here. I had split the Monday into two so it would fit the spot a little better. The 
using my watercolors to paint in my little ailing computer and this is I believe Lamp Black by Daniel Smith. I'm putting my little Delphonics pouch uh, printable that my patrons got in here as well as one of my Raven King stickers and I also made this little YouTube symbol to show that I uploaded a YouTube video on this day. We got takeout, so I um, just drew in a little image of, of our food that we got at the bottom. I love how painting just a simple little border around the pages kind of just ties everything together. Um, it's such a simple thing to do and I need to remember to do that more often. Well that catches me up again. Thanks for joining along with me and, and watching. and. Um, goodbye until I'm back again, hopefully next week.